Welcome to the first episode of the Next Level Podcast. Uh, first episode here, Mr. Sam Ahara, otherwise known as Sam Hedge Fitness in the influencer world. <laughs> would you call yourself an influencer or what, would you? Uh, no, maybe somewhat. Um, it kind of depends. I kind of feel like I go through phases. Uh, Sometimes I'm like, yeah, I'll do a bit of influencer or kind of social <laughs> media content. But um, no, so I'm actually an online coach. Um, so I have a few clients now. I'm in college. So I'm in my second year of college. I assume you want me to do a bit of an introduction. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so <laughs> so in second year of college. Um, like I said, online coach. Um, I've been doing content for about three years now. Um, so I started when I was in fifth year in school, um, and I am now in second year college. So what's that? Three years, just about. Yeah, yeah. yeah fifth yeah. kind of sixth year, kind of the lockdown. Um, because I just wanted to do it when I wouldn't see anyone because yeah. I was terrified. How people. would you say, or why would you say you started in the first place? Um, Is it when you first started, or even when you just started first picked up a weight? Why did you say, okay, I'm going to record myself doing this? Yeah, so I kind of, um, I had one or two friends who were doing a bit of it. Yeah. Um, and I kind of said to myself, like, I know I, I was never the biggest. And that's why I, I got a lot of, you know, like, hey, hey comments. Mm-hmm. When, I, when I started, I was never, I, I wasn't in good nick. Yeah. I wasn't. Yeah. But I kind of said to myself, you know, I kind of wanted to, to document the journey yeah, yeah. of trying to get into or, or you know, get into a certain physique. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's obviously why I did get a bit of, like, hate when I first started because yeah. um like I didn't have a rep. I didn't have anything that, yeah. to prove what I was saying. Like I might have been I might have known the knowledge and, mm-hmm. and said the right stuff, but at the end of the day, like you know, like yeah, you're not people gonna, aren't gonna be yeah, I know what you mean. You yeah. know, um so you have to you have to have something there to back yourself up with it. Mm. And I didn't. Yeah. Um so I kinda said to myself, right, well I'm just gonna start now. I'm yeah. gonna document it. Yeah, yeah. And if all goes fuck up, like I tried. Mm. You know, I gave him yeah, my exactly. best shot. Yeah. yeah. Um and I was like do you know what? It's it's a passion of mine. Like I love mm. doing it. Yeah. I love doing it. Um, like even when I was in fifth, sixth year, I was just doing day in the life, and I just got so much enjoyment from it, so much fulfillment from it. Class. Um, and uh, yeah, now here we are. Yeah. Um, even like you're saying with the hair comments there, would you say that was the hardest part of it? <sighs> yeah, I would. Um, I also found like you know like seeing people who. You know people like who you know but don't know, like you're not yeah. friends with, but you know them from seeing them yeah. from your local town. Like it was hard as well seeing them, you know, knowing that you know they might see my stuff or they, you know, they had yeah, seen my stuff. Know, that, you know, know, they know I do this thing, yeah. um, and it's hard then because like you're the only one doing it. Mm. Um, like none of my friends in my school did it. No one yeah. really understood why I was doing it because yeah. you know no one understands it until you start, you know to get something exactly, from yeah. it. Yeah. Like now that you know I have a bit more of a following it's behind easier. me, like you know people wouldn't really second question why exactly, you do yeah. it you know what yeah. I mean but when you're doing it and you have the same amount of followers as your friends have <laughs> if not less <laughs> you know yeah. people are kind of looking yeah. at you being like what the fuck What's is this doing like, yeah. like yeah. he's yeah. an idiot like and when yeah. you're when people can see that you're spending like a lot of time putting into the content editing the content mm. and you're getting nothing in return yeah. yeah it's very difficult because you're trying to prove to yourself like why you're doing it yeah but it just seems pointless to everyone else, like, yeah. do you know? Like, let's be real, picking up a camera and recording yourself in Ireland. Arguably, one of the most judgmental countries on the planet. Oh, man. You can be a bit of an outlier. Oh, man. Uh, like, I made, a, I made a TikTok when I was, I went to Vegas, mm-hmm. um, and uh, I made a TikTok, and it was just me standing in front of a dumbbell, tra- dumbbell rack, and I was oh, just I saying, never seen this. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was just saying to the camera, I was like, like, it's just so funny how like small minded yeah. everyone is in yeah, Ireland. Like yeah. I was there in front of a dumbbell rack, like genuinely like speaking at the top of my lungs, yeah. not even like stuttering, nothing, because no one was looking at me funny. That's just the idea. No one cared. At... Yeah. They were just like like people were coming up to me being like, What 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 channel do you have? Yeah, what do you yeah, do? Cool, cool. Like I remember I met a guy and he was just like, Man, like, you know, I think it's so cool that you're doing this. What what's your yeah. TikTok? What's your Instagram? Yeah. And that was the coolest thing ever. Like I was like, man, like I've been doing this for three years in Ireland. That's yeah. never once happened to me. Yeah. And I went to America and it was in a in like like one day like everywhere I did, like people yeah. would, you know, like they'd say it to you, like yeah, and just be like, yeah. fair play to you. Like and you just don't get that in Ireland. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Um It is tough, like, you know, picking up the camera in Ireland, no one else is doing it, you will always be different. And I think in Ireland, like the most common path you will see is, I think I can almost name off the life of 99% of people is you go to school, you go to college, get a job, start a family, mortgage, eventually pass away. But if yeah. you do anything outside of the norm, <laughs> out- so accurate, right? <laughs> <laughs> it is just the way it is like, um, yeah, I don't know. It's just, even myself now starting, um, obviously a small account as of now. Yeah. But I think it's when you surround yourself, even when I'm here with you, 
I think if you look around and see the other people who are successful at it, yeah. um, you're like, okay, they did this. They obviously got through the tough phase, we'd say, of people judgmental, being judgmental towards it. So it's a lot easier when you surround yourself with them people, you know? 100%. Like, even when I was starting, um, I was good friends, and still am great friends, with uh, Sean Coffey. I don't know if you've heard of him. Um, but, like, I met up with Sean. Sean was um, in Cork, and, like, like, neither of us drove, but we were, like, like, you know, we met up with each other because, like, he had a way bigger following than me. Like, so many followers. Like, I think he had 10,000 Instagram followers. I think 68. I actually remember, during COVID, I actually think I remember seeing his TikTok. Uh, I was like, uh, he'll be sponsored by my protein. I think I actually remember that years he ago. He was the youngest yeah. my protein sponsored athlete mad. at 16 in Ireland. Like, 16. That's mad. I hadn't even, like, started my account. Yeah. And it was almost when I saw that, I was like, man, what am I yeah. doing? I could be like that guy. Mm. Like, like it was, it was like that. Like I remember seeing that Instagram post and be like, like man, what am I doing? Yeah, you know, I yeah. want to do this, but I'm, I'm, I'm actually letting other people stop me from doing that. Yeah. Um, so then, like, I was just texting him and I was, I was like, man, like I want to do this. Like I appreciate you taking the time. Mm. And I actually remember, and I was, I, I um, jumped on a Facetime call with him. And I was like, man, give me everything you can in the next five minutes. I know you're a busy guy. Yeah, give me everything course, yeah. you can to grow yeah. my account in the next five minutes. And I got a notepad and wrote them all down. Yeah. And that was the start. That like after that phone call with Sean, I was like, right, I'm mm. doing this. How would you kind of deal with that though? Is you like if you're good friends with someone who was like a much bigger account that obviously you've ever tried to grow on it? Do you ever like try compare yourself and like, oh man, I, I could be better, I should be better? A hundred percent. Like, you know, comparison is always gonna be the teeth of joy. Um and like I was good friends with him, but you're always you're always in comparison with people. It's it's the truth, you know. And like followers do speak, um, and it's tough. But you also have to rem remind yourself, that, you know, you're playing your own game. Like, this is your thing. You yeah, know? exactly. Like, no one could be Sam better than Sam. Exactly. Yeah. And like like arguably, um, like I'll say this now, I I think I could make content to maybe build a bigger following base mm -hmm. on TikTok. But it's not what I'm chasing. Like yeah. I'm chasing doing content that I enjoy making. Yeah. Like every day when I wake up, like I genuinely like think, all right, well, where where can I go today with like content that I enjoy making? Yeah, good, good. Like there is a lot of content, cool. and I'm just like, why would I bother take time out of my day to do something if I'm not enjoying it? Mm. Like I genuinely enjoy That's all cool. the videos. I That's make. cool. Yeah, that kind of leads me on to the next thing I was going to ask. Like, do you have like an end goal in terms of social media by itself, or is it just grow as much as you can, influence as much people really as you can, inspire? Yeah, so like the first, when I first started, I was just like, right, well, this could all go tips up. Yeah. It probably will go all, all yeah. go tits up, right? <laughs> and it did, yeah. multiple different times. Yeah. But I was just like, like I got one or two messages, um, and it was just genuine people saying, look, Sam, like you've actually helped me here. Yeah. Like yeah. I know you're getting a lot of hateful comments, but you've actually helped me. Yeah. And like knowing that like I've actually helped someone, like, mm. you know, I've helped someone start their journey or, you know, start doing something that they weren't comfortable doing yeah. was like game changing for mm. me I was like right I actually could change some people here. Yeah, like yeah. even now like if I go out on a night out um, like one or two times people have came up to me and been like man like you are one of the reasons why I started mm. the gym and like even I was in the gym in Extreme I think it was two three weeks ago Extreme was a gym I trained in Waterford and someone came up to me and was like look man you were one of the main reasons why I yeah. started the gym like Class. you started from nothing and showed the journey yeah. up and yeah. that's what inspired me and like man, it was when I heard that, like it was like, yeah. it was like it was like an out of body experience. I was yeah. like, oh my god, like, yeah. like that is just your story is quite ever. inspiring. Like even when I think of you, I think of like someone who literally, as you said, started from like zero, and even now, even through all, I remember seeing all the hair comments. I remember seeing it myself, yeah. but you still got through. And now, even like only recently, you hit ten k. Congratulations on hitting that. Yeah, but hitting, like, hitting, <laughs> starting from nothing to now ten k to obviously growing. As you said, people now just believe you more because you have that. It's like it's like more social proof you have. It's yeah. a lot easier. Yeah, because yeah, when you're doing it, and you're bigger. People just believe you rather than being like, okay, sandwich, who's not the biggest, and he has maybe five five hundred followers to a thousand. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah. I like to think that, like, you know, since I did document the process, that I do have a bit of a rep behind me. Yeah. You know that, like, yeah. like people actually kind of believe what I'm saying mm. now. Yeah. You know, like beforehand when I was like sixty five kg. <laughs> Fucking look like a piece of <laughs> shit. Like, and I was just like, yeah, lads, you need yeah. to do this to build muscle. Yeah. You need this, how you bias your lat. Yeah. People are like, what wow, is this fella? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? But now that like I actually have a bit of progress behind yeah. me, I have comparison shots, yeah. people are like, okay, right, this fella actually knows what he's talking exactly. about. Yeah. Um, but yeah, even like going back to the hate comments, like eventually you kind of do get a bit better with them, yeah. like dealing with them. Definitely. Um, like I got a lot on, my physique obviously was the main one. Mm. Right, like I was posting gym content and I didn't look good. Yeah, they don't add up. Yeah, you know. Uh, true, yeah. Like, 
<laughs> it doesn't make sense to do it. Yeah. But that was one of the biggest motivators. And I was like, right, well, I'm just going to show people that I can do it. Yeah. yeah. You know, um, but it wasn't that that really got to me. Obviously, it did at the start, but you learn to deal with everything. Yeah. You know, like eventually, there's only so many times you can get told you look shit. Exactly. It's yeah. the truth. Yeah. Until sure. it just becomes a normality. Yeah. That's yeah, sure. And that's the reality that's of it. Like, I was like, right, well, I don't really care anymore. Yeah. I know I'm not in good nick, but yeah. I'm going to do it. I think the best I'm way to prove it wrong it. Just, yeah exactly the best way to prove it wrong is just do it yourself yeah but then know? like you would get some personal ones um, like it was only a year ago um, I had like awful skin mm, um, like really bad acne um, and I would get a good few comments about that um, I've been told to like like fix the gap between my front teeth um, and that like they they do get to you like yeah, you know yeah. I can sit here and you know tell everyone that like you know it doesn't bother me but yeah, it, 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 it does like, yeah. like they yeah. they never get old you, know, yeah. you can be told you're not in good nick a hundred times a day it doesn't yeah. bother me because at least that can change do you know what I mean yeah. so there's certain things like obviously you can change physically how you look but there's some, some things like sometimes with your teeth it's harder like you can't yeah. change it and like people just seem to know your your insecurities like yeah. and that is yeah. one of mine like yeah. like even in like like if I'm taking like group photos like sometimes I just wouldn't smile like like or like I would smile and I wouldn't show my teeth yeah, yeah. and like that is like part of the reason because like people just seem t- to know your insecurities mm. but you know you learn to just live with it man you learn yeah. to just accept it and I'm yeah, just like yeah. this is just who I am it, social media it definitely is a tough place like and oh, I think if you're going to start like, you def- you have to be ready for it you yeah. know? that kind of leads me on like I, I would say I think you almost agree you're a big um, a lot of you of the younger generation as such from your background would look up to you it's like alright Sam started from here he's now big on social media as someone even from your age you were what 16, 17 when you started maybe? yeah like like Covid so yeah. 17 well I'm 17. 20 now like yeah. just turned 20 so yeah about yeah. 17 yeah what advice would you give to someone who's younger starting off in your exact position 16, 17 who wants okay I want to be like Sam I want to grow my account start from your position again um, damn that's a tough question um I would say that it's so cliche, but you just have to do your own thing. Yeah. You, you could you. look at content like mine, you could look at content like yeah. bigger influencers, but at the end of the day, you can take inspiration from them, Yeah. but you can't be them. And you exactly, can never yeah. be someone else. Yeah. And that's the harsh truth. And that's something that I had to, you know, agree with. I was like, like, even like I was saying, we're talking with Sean. Like I was like, I'm not Sean, I'm Sam. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you have yeah. to just be your own person. Um, you also have to not be afraid of putting yourself out there. Mm. Um, like I was actually looking back at my account last night and I was looking at like videos of when I first started speaking to a camera and oh my God, man, they were awful. I was like, yeah. my name is Sam. Marathon. <laughs> Here's how you build muscle. You can tell that you're shy on the camera just from how you speak. Like, how you come Do you know across. what I mean? Yeah. So you have to just have that fucking, yeah. I don't give a fuck energy. Yeah, yeah. I am Straight the best it. person who has ever graced this planet of the earth. Mm. I'm gonna show this camera like like that's the mentality you have to have. Yeah. You just have yeah. to have it like I yeah. don't care mentality. Yeah. Um and it's it's you you don't get that overnight. You get that from just practicing. Yeah. Like you have to accept that the people in your class, you know, that girl you might be texting might see your video. Mm. They will see your video yeah. eventually. Yeah. But you have to just, you know, like tell yourself that this is what I wanna do. And yeah. if it's something you wanna do, nothing will hold you back. Yeah. I mean absolutely nothing. You know, and at the end of the day, um, like your real friends will back you. Like and that's what you realise that like people who support you from the start are are, are your genuine friends. Yeah. Because like your genuine friends will want to see you do well. They'll be like fair like I can't believe you're you mm. you have the enough confidence. And like I know that, like that's why I'm so so grateful for my friend group. Like a lot of them backed me from the start and yeah. that's why I made it a bit easier because like I was like like you just have people there, yeah. you know, mm. and you have people there to talk to about the stuff. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because not everyone's gonna get it. Like your parents won't get it, your grandparents won't yeah. get it. But you know, like yeah. if it's something you want to do, you gotta just pursue yeah. it. Yeah. You know. Exactly. Yeah. I think the majority of people who are afraid to start social media, the core reason as to why you're afraid is because you're afraid of judgment. Do you know? And I even as I've only started recently, and for a year, I always wanted to do this. Like, yeah. do you know? But it was always the fear. But I can tell you, as someone who started recently, like when you let go of that fear. And you just start doing it. It's like one of the most liberating feelings you'll ever have. So it's like now you just right. you just go for it. So like, now your your perspective on life is so much different. I can't I can't express it. Like it, it's how I am the person I am today. Yeah. Like and it sounds cringe or whatever. Like, yeah. but it is like just letting go of the actual fear of yeah. judgment. Yeah. And I'm so so grateful for yeah. it. like like even like eventually like 
day day by day after walking to school and getting like nervous walking in, you know, mm. man, like oh, yeah. they might have seen this, they might have seen that. Like even when I was in sixth year, I was doing a lot of live workouts. Yeah, yeah. On TikTok, um, yeah. and I was like, fuck, like, like, yeah. she, they were watching last night. <laughs> yeah, you do feel like, like everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it, it's awkward, but eventually you just yeah. accept that, like, man. I love this. Yeah. I love doing this. Yeah, exactly. you know? yeah. I'm yeah. not going to let them stop me. Especially when you said, some people texting you and you're still like, oh, you're actually going to help me. You're like, okay, this is actually making a difference to someone's oh, life. Man. It's yeah. the most, like, it's the weirdest feeling ever because you're like, yeah. Because like, you don't get those comments. You don't get the good ones. You just don't. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you, you only get the ones that, like. I, you know what? I think not that you won't get the, the good ones, but you get the good ones when you're already there. Yeah. You know, you exactly. won't see them at the start. You like. don't, you don't yeah. see them at the start, but you have to just tell yourself that you are making a difference yeah. and what you're yeah. doing is worthwhile. Yeah, yeah. You know? Exactly. Um, and it does take such a toll on your mental health. Like, mm. I can't express the amount of times I was so close to deleting my account. Yeah. Fuck, really? Like, oh man. Like, yeah. not even deleting it, just like taking down the post and just being like, why yeah. am I bothering, man? Yeah. Like, it really so, does build your character overall. You know, like, oh man, like, even like, because I was doing a lot of social things when I first started. Like, I was playing football, I was obviously in school, I was in the gym. I had a lot of like, like, I had my close friends, but I had a good few like outer friend groups. Yeah, like, yeah. are people who like you're friendly with, but you're not yeah. that friendly with, mm. you know. So, I was doing a lot of social things where you were seeing a lot of people every day, man. And it was like, like, all like, all that used to run in my mind was like, mm. fuck, like. Yeah, like, yeah. Like they probably know no. that I'm doing this. Now. You feel like you're getting judged when you're not there, and all it is fucking. Yeah. yeah, it is tough. And it's like, yeah. man, like nobody else is really deep in that as much as you are. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that's something that like it takes a while to get your head around it, yeah. and it can be so so tough, man. But like, the benefits of that, though, and like, of course, it's shit in the moment. But when you come out of it on the other side, it's gonna build your character. So even when you're outside of social media, you now have done something which was the, I say the odds were against you. So now, you, oh, say your sports, I don't know, whatever happens to be, business, or whatever it is in life. Now that you've done this through the struggle, you have so much more confidence in life, no matter what it is, you know, going forward. Yeah, I think even from my own background, I always use this analogy. Like before, I spent a lot of my teen years in mixed martial arts. And I think I was in training now about six months at this stage. And there's a position in MMA called top mount. So basically, you're all lying on your back. There's someone who's probably sitting around your chest. And you're, in, you're very, on, the, on the bottom, you're in a very shit position. Like someone's probably punching your head. Like. Yeah. And I remember I was losing the round. And if I, had, if I wanted to win, I had to get out. Yeah. There's no other way. Like. <laughs> so I remember I pressed the person off, me, off my body. But it was from that moment, like, okay, I had to get out. So no matter what, I kind of use the analogy, no matter what I'm in. So if, I want, if I'm on social media now, if it's in business, I just, there's always a way. I just yeah. have to find it. No matter what is in my way, I have to do it. Like regardless. And it's that like that all in mentality that is so important if you start yeah. something like this. Like if you want to do something like social media, you have to just have the I'm gonna make this work. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't like care. It. I don't care what's gonna stop me. Mm. I don't care what's gonna come in my way. Yeah. I don't care what's gonna be said to me. Yeah. I don't care what people are gonna think. I'm mm. gonna make this work. And that's the mentality I had from day one. Like yeah. I was like, I love this. I could make a career from this. Yeah. I'm making this work. Yeah. I don't wanna work that 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 like nine to five. I, mm. I just don't. I, yeah. I wanna make this work. Yeah. This is what I love doing. I, I wake up every day. I, I have that natural happiness, that looking forward to doing something. Yeah, that's that's it. Like, Man, I yeah. want to pursue this. Why would I? Why would I do anything else? Yeah. Yeah. You know. I think when you have that kind of perspective, it's like you're saying you're happy to do it. It's like when you start to output uh, more positive, we'll say, more positivity. It's like the better you get back. So yeah. if you're always like, um, optimistic, you say about it. It's like the better you do. You just enjoy it more. It's easier to do. You know, keeps it up. And it, look, let's be realistic. When you first start out. It's probably going to be a shit, a bit shit when you start out, like. Yeah. But it's just keep. It's like they all saying, "Death by a thousand cuts." Just keep showing up every single day, and you yeah. will get better. It's only natural. You have to. You have to. Yeah. And um, so cliche to say, but like consistency is so key, man. Yeah. It's so key, like yeah. fucking hell, like. I went through a rough patch there. I was doing fucking get ready with me for nights out and shit. Like, <laughs> fucking hell. Like, so you know the comments I'm new, like. <laughs> So, but like, I was like, fucking, like, I'm not stopping. Like, yeah, I've nothing yeah. to do in the gym. Yeah. I'm going to do fucking get ready with me. Yeah, <laughs> this yeah. is a new love, but I love <laughs> I just, I just genuinely had a passion for recording myself. Yeah. As weird as it sounds, like. Yeah. So, like, I tried so many different things, boy. I tried mm. to be a fucking chef and I can't even cook. Like. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You yeah. try everything. Um, Let's find what's best for you, though. There's an indie content like, okay, I've, uh, maybe I'm good at explaining exercises, maybe I'm good at explaining yeah. uh, diet, yeah. or maybe I'm good at fat loss. Depends on what you want to do and you kind of lean into what you're good at. Yeah. Do you know? That's like, the best um, thing you can do. I don't know if you've seen, the, you obviously haven't seen all my videos, but I was doing a good few on the leave insert. I see, um, I remember them, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. and like, my, my fuck did I want to be doing those? But I did <laughs> yeah. enjoy, you know, the process of 
editing a video mm. and watching it come together yeah. and just being like, yeah, this actually flows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this flows. And, and they, you are tar- you were helping people who follow you a lot of time. Yeah. A lot of them are doing the leaving shirt anyway. Yeah. So you're directly helping them, do you know? Yeah, um, but uh, that was something that like, I was like, like it wasn't something I was interested in recording in, mm. but it was something that like, you know, the outcome of it was worth it for me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And even, um, aside from social media, obviously a massive part of your life and my life as well is the gym. Yeah. Um, what would you say that does for you? As in, why the gym? Why not? So obviously, I know you do sports, but why the gym? Um, well, Jesus, I suppose the, the reason I started was just I just hated how I looked. Yeah, like a lot of like genuinely, I just like like I was always a naturally skinny kid, and I even remember like back when I was in fifth year, um, I used to wear like real tight clothes, yeah. trying to maybe look bigger. Yeah, yeah. I think everyone did. I think everyone does. Um, yeah. So I was like, yeah, <laughs> fact, I'm buying, I'm buying a twelve to thirteen jersey. <laughs> class you know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. and I was like well, what am I doing yeah like I was like like what am I doing this needs change um, so yeah I was just like and I was like I was also like like having a good physique is something you can't buy and no one can take away from yeah. you yeah. nobody mm. you know and and putting in work to yourself you know like like making that transformation you can't buy that man. yeah yeah you know, and you can buy a lot of things. In that. I really do think being in the gym, of course, it's for the gym and your overall health, but it can carry over into other areas of life so much. Yeah. If you, like you said, you make transformation, you have so much more confidence in anything else. Yeah. That it just makes a lot of other stuff, areas of life, a lot easier, you yeah. know? Um, like, in, obviously, now there is, like, bad things that might come with changing your physique. Yeah. Um, which might sound weird to say, but, like, even me now, um, like, I'm at, like, my heaviest I've ever been. Yeah. Like, this morning I was 83.6. I'm kind of averaging about 84 kg. Mm-hmm. Um, so like even now, like I know it's like my face is getting a lot bigger. Um, yeah. How are you? Uh, do you get acne with that? So when you start going the bulk? Uh, so I, I, obviously uh, now I've done real Accutane, yeah. so I actually don't. Well, I haven't noticed any. Yeah, yeah. Um, which is a huge mm. thing for me, like because yeah. previously, like going into gaining phases, like I was just like no, like because yeah. I'd have a fat face, and I ha- I'd just be red all over yeah. it. Yeah. And I was like, man, like what am I doing? Yeah. I'm just saying, I know myself, as soon as I go into like a surplus, the first thing to puff out is my face. Yeah. Like, oh, well, my face looks a lot wider. It is like a, the gym is a very mental thing. Whether you're in a cut, bulk, it's always mental. To be able to deal, if you're in a surplus like myself, it's dealing with, okay, maybe I am going to gain a bit of fat. Yeah. It's just something you have to accept. It's like an investment though. Yeah. So you're investing to go, the same thing with the cut. You're, you might look a bit skinnier in the t-shirt as you go down because you're going to be leaner yeah. overall. But when you have top off, it's obviously benefit from there. Yeah, but, exactly. Um, yeah. Um, but even now, like, like it's normal to have insecurities with that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like, even now, like, like when I'm going on, like, if I'm going on a night out, like, I don't really like getting, like, like photos with my friends. Okay. Because, like, I can just, like, the first thing, and other people won't notice it. Like, and I've yeah. said it to people, and they, they're just, yeah, like, you'll notice, notice everything it. But, like, you. as soon as I see my face, I'm like, fuck. This guy needs to have a long hard look at himself <laughs> here now. He's gone too far here, like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but, like, other people wouldn't notice that, but I suppose you'll always notice your biggest insecurities. Yeah. Always, mm. you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Um, so that is one thing, but it's like, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice, Yeah. you know. Yeah. I think something for myself, something I can't change. A lot of people like me. I've always been small in height, but again, yeah. that's nothing I can change. Like, yeah, but the only exactly. thing with the gym is just same with me. <laughs> yeah, like I'm probably what like an inch taller than me. Yeah. Am I? <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> but right. one thing I can say, I can't be small and skinny. I can't be both. Oh man, I was the exact <laughs> same. I, I was like, I have to have something going here. For me. Like, <laughs> yeah. like there is not one woman gonna look at me like if I'm like five eight and like fucking forty eight kg. Yeah. Like, what do I have going for me? Yeah. Um, that was another reason. Like, like yeah. girls. That's yeah, it's really when you first start out as a male. In fact, I want to look a bit good. Yeah, you know what I mean, or look yeah. somewhat good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think that's a lot. Yeah. That. Like most Irish lads, start the gym it's because of that. It's like. for guys. Yeah, it is. Like, this yeah. is be real. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. like it is. You yeah. know, because you do want to impress people who, who you know, yeah, like look up to and stuff. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, I it's, think when you get to a certain stage, in though, as like you get past the okay, I'm doing this for someone else, you eventually get to, like, okay, I'm doing this for myself. I like the gym, for a lot of people, is, like, their own, as much as it is physical, it's a lot of it, a lot of it's mental. Yeah. Do you know? Um, it's, an out, it's an outlet for a lot of people. Would you yeah. say, like, for yourself, it's been that at some stage? 100%. Yeah. Um, so, like, even if I'm ever going through stressful life, like, stressful times, um, like, even yesterday, uh, I don't, have you seen plugs on TikTok? No. Like, a photo vlog. Oh, yes. So, they're yeah, basically, yeah, yeah. like, a thing where, like, you post a load of photos and you can put captions on them. Yeah. And yesterday, I actually made mine. It was, like, a photo before the gym. I was like, right, two hours now to take all the stress away and my problems away. Uh, and then it was like, after the gym, yeah. problems starting to creep back, I might go back to the gym. Yeah. But it's how it is. Yeah. Like, I go to the gym now and like, I could have 40 assignments, but uh, like, like college is stressful. Yeah, like yeah. it is, you know? And then I'm like, right, okay. I also have a video that's due tonight. Mm. A video I need to edit for tomorrow. 
you know, like I, you do have a lot of stress, but like when you go to the gym, it just, it just yeah. goes away for a yeah. while. And that's I, the thing about it. I'm very similar in that sense, but like it's almost like if I have a problem, say I'm stressed about something, uh, maybe I don't know, say it's like an exam, uh, yeah. for example. If I was going into the gym, oh fuck, I'm gonna fail this exam. It's like when I get a pump or something for whatever reason. It's like the problem flips in its head. Yeah. Like, all right, I'm gonna absolutely it's ace like, this test. It's like it's just life, just fucking like it's, it's just, clearer just, or something. You yeah. just start to like, like not deep life. You're just like, <laughs> fuck, like everything is going tits up. But I look kind of big here, so <laughs> it's fine. I control it. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, literally, like it's, it's like, like one van. Like, like I'm fucking, I'm looking it. big here, so <laughs> fucking, I don't really care. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's how it is, though. Yeah, you know, it's all about like. Uh, it just takes takes stress away, and like yeah. even now, like like obviously I'm doing a lot of like cold water stuff with like the ice tubs and all. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing about it, man. That's one thing why I do it. I'm like, yeah. like you don't think about anything else. As soon yeah. as your chest goes under that water, there's not one other thing going through yeah. my mind about how, but yeah. how much time do I? Would you recommend this? that the cold water stuff? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. I don't care what phase you're in. I don't care if you're a bodybuilder. Yeah. I don't care. Yeah. Okay? Like. Yeah for your mental health like it, mm. it's changed me so much like even if I'm having a stressful day yeah. or I'm like fucking worrying about something yeah. or like you know something's going wrong I go like well let mm. me just clear my mind yeah. and it's the one thing yeah. that just clears my mind yeah, it's, like, good. it's just like it just it's like it's just a reset button Yeah, it's like right okay we're going to press start here again yeah, yeah. you know and it's just oh man it's amazing similar off to myself like I couldn't give a flying fuck about the physical benefits it has but I know it's like a challenge for me like if I, if yeah. I do this first thing in the morning like alright I'm going to do one thing else that's in my way in the day this, it's the, like getting into cold water when I wake up is the last thing on earth I want to do 100%. but if I do it it just helps you go forward for the rest yeah, of the day and even like it's so, so simple like even if you wake up and this is going to sound so stupid, but like if you wake up and fold your bed, man. Yeah, it's small fold things. Fold your yeah, bed. It's yeah. doing something that like, yeah. like, man, I don't want to fold my bed. Yeah. I don't want to tuck in my pillows. I don't yeah. give a fuck. I'm a lad. All right? Who yeah. wants to be doing that? Right? <laughs> All right? I don't want to do that. But it's also yeah. like you're starting with something that you don't yeah. necessarily want to do. So it is going to have its benefits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I talk about that a lot. Actually, it's small wins. Yeah, like like small literally wins. Literally small yeah. wins. Like waking yeah. up and just fold your bed, man. Mm. You know? People, it's in the moment, like, gosh, oh, what's the fall of my bed going to do? Like, yeah. But you don't realize, like, I fall in my bed, then I got the next meal done. Maybe I drank enough water, then I ate my meal, but yeah. I, I got to the gym, then I go to the station. But over time, you're in the moment, it won't seem like big, but if you look it over like six months, a year, 100%. three years, you compound a lot, then look how much more you've grown it. Yeah, you know? literally. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, even like as soon as I wake up, like, it's, it's fall to bed, open the blinds. Yeah. And then go from there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, and people even watching this, man, I think, like, try it. I do that as well. Like, but it's just. A lot, you'd be surprised the amount of people who will struggle to do that. Yeah. Like I remember there was a certain stage in my life I would have been like a low point and I remember going into a shower as rotten as it seems but it was like the biggest fucking deal but I remember at that point it was, as I said, it was a really low point in my life but as I got through it as you go out to the shower, like you said, dress, but it's the smallest things, I swear to God. If I was drinking an extra cup of water a day, but when you start realizing the small wins yeah. and you get through it, it, it start to stack up. Then you start to more confident in yourself, do you know? And especially like at that time, I'm like, okay, I'm going to drink more water tomorrow, but then you don't drink more water. Yeah. Or I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow, I'm going to do this, but you don't do it. Yeah. Which when you start to tell yourself things and you don't do it, you kind of start to lack confidence. And it does have a very negative, it's very slippery slope. Like. Yeah, 100%. And I think there's so many knock on effects as well. Like, um, like if you start your day on a positive note or if you start like going to the gym and kind of dialing in your food a bit yeah. like I personally found that like I started to dial in a bit with study I started to you know like other things start to yeah, go yeah. well for me exactly like yeah. as soon as you start just like flipping that switch and be like right okay I'm going to make this little change today and the next day you're like yeah. right okay I'm going to do that change but mm. I'm going to do another change as well yeah. and it's like they all add up it's and it sounds so stupid it yeah. sounds so basic but it's a thing it's how it works Completely it's agree. a compound yeah. effect like, do you yeah. know what I mean yeah, it's like a snowball just yeah. keep going yeah. but it is regardless of the small but it eventually that'll turn into a big thing so whether it's just business social media whatever it happens to be like the gym that physique will come from that you can, cause if, you're, if you can constantly small thing dress your bed drink more water then you can consistently go to the gym so it's, maybe you're going two days next time you go three days four yeah. and then you can say over five years look how much more, you, more you've grown like yeah, you know? yeah I don't know it's just even on this podcast my own page as much as I want to help people get a better physique gym but a massive part of me uh, me as myself I like to help people mentally yeah. and as much so mentally just build more confidence because it's something I struggle with myself I think you could agree even John. yeah 100% like yeah. even um I remember it was the day of the races for me. So when last year I had like like really bad skin and I was on um, Roaccutane. And mm -hmm. anyone, well, if you don't know, I'm going to basically explain it for you. But when you're on Roaccutane, you go through a purging phase. Okay. Um, and basically a purging phase is about three months in. Um, and basically what Roaccutane does is it dries out your skin. Okay. So your, your skin gets dried out. So what happens is your spots like come out. Mm. So it like 
almost the way the thing like I don't know if this is true right but what I thought of it was that like it was drying out my skin and it was pushing all the spots out that were going to come out yeah. in the future so basically that's what happens and your skin gets really really bad Fuck. and like I always found for me before Roaccutane that I would always break out before any event like any Stress, event like, like, it yeah. could be like right six year night out or leaving certain night out, or yeah, going yeah. on going on a beer with the lads, but it's like a prolonged thing. Yeah, and yeah. it's like the stress just builds up. Your skin starts to break out, um, and for me, it was the day of the races. Mine got so bad, like so so bad. Fuck. Um, and I made a video on Instagram, and it was just me like actually speaking about it and trying to normalize it. I was like, right, the reason why, like I was talking about like where I had the camera set up, like yeah. I had the camera set up in dim lighting, yeah, and then I like turned the camera and I was like look this is my skin in natural lighting this is what I actually look like yeah. and like I got a load of messages about that man yeah. and I was like and like people were being like oh my god like I've never yeah. even seen someone speak that's just that. a social media world like, as much as your skin it's physique as well like, people like you look at the fucking big names in the game like he is on rail like the shape he's in yeah. but you don't see him then in his normal day to day life he looks, when I say he looks like shit but he wouldn't look like he does on camera yeah. so the same thing with your skin is when you be real do you know, actually be as real as you can people start to relate to that you're like yeah I'm actually not that far behind like yeah like know? I remember I had the camera like set up in like the corner of my bedroom where it would like like look up the way at me yeah because I knew that like you know like my skin from like here wasn't that bad but mm. it was like up like if I was to take up my fringe like, yeah. it was all from here man like that's why I've always had a long fringe yeah like you've never really seen me with a short fringe mm. and like I'll still always have it like it's because like my, my forehead was just destroyed man so I was like right do you know what I'm just gonna show people so I like just took the camera and I was like, look, lads, the reason why I have a lot of funny angle there is because I absolutely hate what I'm seeing. Yeah. So I like took it in front of the window and I, I like, took up my forehead and I was like, look, this yeah. is what I look like. Yeah. Like this is me. Like this is where I'm at skin wise. I know it's absolutely dreadful, but I am trying to change it. Yeah. Um, and like people were just coming and being like, it is the easiest way to do it. The best way to like get rid of your fear of doing it is just show people just do it. Yeah. Because then it's like one people might support you. You will get the head. Yeah. But like two. People know now. It's not. It's not like you're hiding something anymore. So when yeah. you're hiding, you can feel that bit of yeah. suspense inside. Like yeah, you, know? you gotta just like firm those kind of things. Just, yeah, like, this is me, man. Yeah, just you know, really like, I'm trying to do better, but this is where I'm at. Yeah, you know? yeah. And people appreciate that. People appreciate transparency, and that's one thing I've learned. Yeah. From doing this this content stuff for three years, like if yeah. you just speak out you know, yeah. where you're at mentally mm. and like physically, people are just like, man. Yeah. I really, I need to hear that. Yeah. I needed to hear that. Like, there's been a few times where I've gone on my story, I've been like, look, lads, I've had an absolute mare of a day. Yeah. I've had a terrible day. Mm. You know, I've ate out. Yeah. I've done something stupid. Yeah. Um, I'm hungover. People are like, oh, man, I'm the exact same. <laughs> I need to hear someone else. Yeah. I thought I was the only one. Do you yeah. know what I mean? People yeah. appreciate that. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that's one thing I've learned from, you know. Did you say that you'd be looking up to someone in that sense. So like a lot of uh, the big name influencers now in the game, whether it's someone who's like strictly in the gym, now obviously big name nowadays is Sam Zulek. Yeah. But you have someone, Joel York, saying like who isn't exactly all the gym, all like you'll say um, hardcore towards the gym. Would you say you're someone you look up to in that sense? Who is more, who would you say is the biggest transparent person in the game? Yeah. Other than yourself. I genuinely think, and I know you're going to know him, is uh, Sean Fitzness. I actually yeah, look yeah. up to Sean yeah, a lot. Yeah, yeah. Like, is Sean trained in the same gym as me. I know now he's yeah. over in Australia. I think he might be home now, but yeah. like, he was someone who I always looked up to because like, I remember seeing his stories and be like, man, how does this fella have the confidence to talk about this? Yeah. How is he so yeah. How is he so open? Yeah. And like, because like, you'd see his story sometimes, like, Jesus Christ. This yeah. man doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't, he yeah. doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. like, he doesn't yeah. care. Like, yeah. And that's where, that's, that's where I'm trying to get to. Yeah. Like, he, he's so open about everything. Yeah. He's like, like, I, I can't think of something off the top of my head. Mm, I remember, I like, there's been multiple times where I've seen this story. I'm like, man, surely he's taking this down. <laughs> like, how does he need to go up to do this? But it's, yeah. it's that where I'm like, yeah. man, I want to get to that stage. But that's going back to what we said a while ago. He doesn't care because he's past that level now. Yeah. Do you know, he doesn't 100%. give a flying fuck. Like. 100%. Yeah. But, you know, like I said, like, I'm not perfect. I still do yeah. care. You yeah. know, like, I do. Like, like there's been times where I walk into lectures and I'm like, oh, <laughs> this is be fucking yeah. rough. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. do care, man. You do. Um, but it's a work in progress. You yeah. Know? You, it does. Yeah. There's nothing that can heal it more than time. Mm. Yeah. He than actually, when he, I only started obviously posting this kind of content recently. Um, and I remember it was about a month ago he posted his video where he uh, it was his first announcement maybe two months ago when he got sponsored by Gymshark and he was talking he showed the clip of him in his first video and where he's at now but it is fairly more of it and even from yourself yeah. you're seeing people who start from nothing could be anyone anyone can do it like yeah. and you just get to the level you're at that was one of my biggest motivators when I started it was class to see and he said he's just very real 
Do you, when you yeah. when you see his Instagram, you're like, okay, this is Sean. Like this is yeah, what it's like. Sean. Like anyone can be that. Yeah. Anyone. You yeah. just have to be open and honest. Yeah. You know. And that's, maybe without his genetics, but yeah. Well, like, obviously <laughs> his physique. Um, like you know, he's a phenomenal physique. Let's not be the red now. Okay. But you know, like he is also has a lot more going for him. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And you'll actually see a lot of his content isn't just gym anymore. Yeah, you true, know, he true, is true, branching true. out, and that's yeah. because he's getting more confident with yeah. you know showing who he really is. Yeah, exactly, you know, yeah. and that's why yeah. he's built such a, a loyal, natural following. Yeah. You know? That's like the Sam Sula thing, though. Everyone follows him <coughs> because of how raw and real his videos are. Yeah, like, because he's so relatable. Yeah, like yeah. it's because like like he never posts about anything but the gym. You know, he's going to the gym on Friday, Saturday nights, and lads, young lads are looking at that, being like, damn. Yeah, I'm not getting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, that's because nowadays you like I'm here. I'm here with a big fucking setup in the podcast. My first one, but you see people on Instagram now where it's all full on mad editing, and then he just posts up with, like his phone in the car. Like, yeah, so like, I trained like, the arms today. He went through a phase there where he had like a tripod, yeah. in his phone, and he'd like a duct tape around his phone <laughs> on the tripod, and like he had like a, a little mini mic. And I was actually watching this video last night. The levels he's gone up now is phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, he's, he's a up, phenomenal yeah. camera. He yeah. has a mic so good. That he was pressing 60 kilo dumbbells, he dropped them on the ground, you couldn't even hear the dumbbells. Oh, fall. Jesus Christ. You can't hear any yeah. music in the gym. Like, that's the level he's at now, but yeah. it's so cool to see someone going from yeah. miking up his phone in the gym to having these mics that can't yeah. take any, like, they must be so expensive. He's, it's so cool. I'm yeah. so happy for him because he deserves it. He's a phenomenal influencer. And he's consistent as fuck. Yeah. He's there. He posts like the He same deserves every, every single penny yeah. he gets. Yeah. You know? Fact. Yeah. He's also. The most probably the most motivating uh, individual in the game right now, I'd say. Oh, literally. Right. Back again from the break. <laughs> what would you say? Obviously, you were talking about the Sam Sula thing. Yeah. And his side of training. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get your take on the whole like optimal lifting um, side of things nowadays. Um, so I went through a phase there, I'd say about a year ago, mm. um, where I was the most optimal fucker you will ever meet in your life. Yeah. I bought a daisy chain. Do you know what a daisy chain is? <laughs> it's a fucking... I'm never buying one again. It's basically, right, you can attach it onto a cable to make the cable longer. Oh, okay. So it's just the most technical thing ever, right? Yeah. I was using them on the pendulum squat. I was overloading my length and portion of my quad that yeah. I didn't even have when I was squatting. <laughs> I was, like, trying to bias the shortened portion of my lat when, like, <laughs> fucking I didn't even own one. Like, do you know what I mean? It was a piss day, right? But I went through it. And I'm glad I did. Now, obviously, I made no progress. Like, I was like, I was just the most standstill fucker ever. Yeah. Like, I was like, man, what am I doing? I'm yeah. doing everything perfect. But yeah. I'm not getting anywhere. Yeah, yeah. Like, obviously, I made a bit of progress. But, like, I'm glad I did it because I think you learn best from your own mistakes. Mm. And, like, I knew all about it. And yeah. I did it. And now I'm, like, looking back and I'm being like, jeez, I was some fucking Egypt. But I was also like, I'm glad I did it. Yeah. I'm glad I fucked up yeah. because now I know, like, even with clients, like, I know never to program something, someone something like that if they're only starting out. Yeah. Yeah. Like, now I'm actually going more sort of towards that style of training yeah. because, you know, I've yeah. been training there for three and a half years, mm. you know. Um, so now I'm going more towards it. But the last year I've just been so much more, like, free fall with training, like, like yeah. suboptimal, yeah. like, fucking Sam Sula kind of stuff. Mm. And I've loved it. Yeah. And I've it made is more, more progress like, yeah, in yeah. the last year than, yeah. you know, in, in the year before, yeah. which shouldn't be a thing. Like, I, yeah, like yeah. I think you're supposed to make less progress the longer you're training. <laughs> you know, I think yeah. that's supposed to how it, yeah, yeah. it didn't for me because obviously yeah. I was just a fucking Egypt. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but I think it's really good in the right time. Yeah, agreed. you know, agreed. Um, but a lot of people don't need it. Yeah, a lot of pe- me, mm. I don't need it. You know, I don't know why I thought I did. You know, I was like seventy-two kg, fucking overloading my iliac portion of my lat. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, it's, it's good like, to man, a certain degree. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. as in you say, like, I'm on. I'm kind of on both sides of it. As yeah. in, I agree with certain things where like. It does help. It's beneficial. But you see people who go too far. They're like, all right, if you lean uh, five degrees more yeah. and pull this way, yeah. get it. Like, I'll be training with the boys. Better. Like, they would be like, yeah, I'm going to do pull-ups. I'd be like, right, I'm going to go bias uh, the length and portion of my back. Then <laughs> maybe, yeah. Like, yeah, I was like, yeah. Oh, all right, have a look at yourself yeah. here. But then on the other side of the spectrum, I'd say, if you're doing deadlifts, for example, um, which isn't going to fuck him. A lot of, like, it can go your back. So I'll show like the, the non-optimal lifting. We'd say, yeah. if you enjoy it, just do it anyway. The chances are, if you're enjoying 100%. training, you're going to stick it longer and you make better progress that way. You're doing and you'll be able to train hate. harder if you enjoy it. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, that's why I don't squat, boy. Because I fucking hate it. And I never go to failure. <laughs> no, I, I fucking hate yeah, it, boy. Yeah. So I just do leg press. Like, yeah. and my legs are growing from it. Like, so yeah. you know, I'm a big yeah. believer in just training the way you enjoy. Yeah. Like, fucking hell, I'd hate going to the gym if yeah. I had to do that. I hate it. Yeah. I hate no, it. And I'm saying that, though. As much as, of course, of course you can grow up squat leg. But I love 
the big dreams has got into life just because it's exciting to me. Like, yeah, so it's like that fear of like I could fail this. Like, yeah. even fucked up as someone's if I could, it's the fear of being stuck underneath the bar that kind of like motivating yeah. to me. Like, yeah, hundred percent. Get really 100%. pumped up for it. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, I just think like, like if you're not enjoying your training, like why would you even enjoy going to the gym in the first place? Yeah, it's just pointless. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, yeah. not um, even the, that's fine what you enjoy though like some people try the gym they're like okay I don't really like this but now it's the new trend like, I don't know high rocks thing everyone's fucking booming about now high rocks oh, and stop. crossfit or being like a hybrid athlete yeah, yeah. You know, well I kind of did go through a phase there myself yeah. where I claimed to be a hybrid athlete yeah. but now I came to the conclusion that I just go to the gym and I run a bit I'm yeah. not a hybrid athlete <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I'm not fucking phenomenal you know I yeah. run a 25 minute 5k and I go to the gym yeah. alright I'm not fucking yeah. Yeah. crossfit number one but again you ran because you enjoyed it do you know what I mean Exactly. Yeah. Not because I was a hybrid athlete. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's an interesting one. It's just finding yeah. that mix of what you enjoy and what's good for you and putting both together. Yeah. Results exactly. are so much better. Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred yeah. percent. Um, no um, ambition to compete. No. No. Never. Not that. even a percentage of you. Like not a singular percentage. Okay. Yeah. Well. Yeah. See, so you just all you have. Even if it's I zero. Oh boy. Like I just think that like like I'd prefer to be busy doing something else. Yeah. Okay. Like, like I'd prefer to like you know spend time investing in something or like doing something to try and like yeah, yeah. you know benefit my future self. I just don't know what competing would, mm. and I don't think I have enough passion to do it. Yeah. Like I've gone through phases where I've like I even I did a six week cut, and I like told like my coach Dave to like treat me like a bodybuilder. Okay. And it was the worst thing ever, boy. Yeah. Like I was bringing me fucking mince and rice into the canteen where I was working making brownies, and I was like, fuck this, boy. I'm never doing this again. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm never doing it again. Yeah. Um, but I, I I do look up to people who do it so highly. I'm mm. like, oh my god, like fair play to you. Yeah. But I just don't think it's for me, man. Yeah. Um, I also love sports and beer. That's good though. Transparency as well. Like you just know, doing what I, you enjoy. I enjoy going out yeah. with lads. Like yeah, you know. Um, I think I'd be more on the opposite side of the spectrum where you want to compete. I want to, but it's the, whatever I do. I have to do it full back. Yeah. So like even I was in MMA for most of my life. If I but if I never had an injury, as an I have a knee injury now, and. It, it, I can train but I can't do it to my full extent yeah, so that's it could easily want. pop out but I couldn't go as a hobby like I couldn't do normal yeah. I remember last year I said I went back um, I was like oh, yeah, I'll go back I'll, throw, I'll train on Monday Wednesday evening give me in two weeks time I was already training twice a day because I can't not just try to be the best I can yeah. it's just part of me like, that's yeah. why if I'm doing if I'm training in the gym if I'm, I have to try to compete like, it's my end goal I have to reach for the highest level I can yeah. it's just who I am as a person I don't know I can't have to do something like yeah I suppose I'm not really like that um, yeah. which Obviously, sometimes I'm like, oh, I, I wouldn't mind being like that. But, yeah. you know, I'm also kind of glad I'm not yeah. like that, you know. But then you can, I could also argue with you and that and say you are because of social media. Do you know what I mean? Because you, you are the most, con- you are very consistent. Yeah. You show up every day, but it's because yeah, it, you enjoy that's it. Yeah, but that's because I love social media. I yeah. love doing it. I yeah. wouldn't start something that I kind of don't really know yeah. if I like and like be yeah. like, okay, I have to do this. You know, like I love social media. That's why I do yeah. it. You know, I have a genuine passion for it. Yeah. That's why I do it. Yeah. Um, but I just don't know what like the competing stuff if I'd ever be able to do it. Mm. I just don't think it would be for me. Um, yeah, I know, it is. It, it's something that's, that's, that's just looked down upon, upon like the normal as the normal people of society like yeah. but it is very far like, you see people someone fucking shredded yeah. you know, like, okay, that is, some people think that that's rotten like, yeah. you know, like it's not yeah. normal no I think it's class yeah it is yeah, I know I think it's class well. yeah. well, <laughs> it depends on the person don't, don't <laughs> think it would be for me like, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. Um, but yeah yeah just do you think it would affect your life if you were to do it as much oh like, yeah yeah, yeah definitely. fuck that boy like yeah. um, like I said like I'm in college I'm second year of college like mm. I've, young, I have yeah. a lot of other things yeah. that I uh, that take priority than that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Um, like whether it's going out with the lads, fucking going for food with the lads. Yeah. You know, it's like not related to life. Yeah. yeah, it's just not like right now. No, but maybe after college, if I like take a year out and I really, really dial things in, maybe yeah. then, maybe. Yeah, but it's still only a vague maybe. I even think you're probably the best person to answer this question as well. Like, as someone who is now in college, you're doing social media, you're training the gym. How are you kind of balancing everything with all that? <sighs> fucking tough boy yeah. um, like I'm not gonna sit here and say it's easy yeah. um, it's not um, so like I like an average day for me not that people need to fucking hear this because it's all I post on Instagram but <laughs> an average day for me I get up around 9 o'clock okay. yeah kind of eight, between 8 and 9 yeah. get up obviously do my bed yeah. open up the blinds yeah. <laughs> <Come on>, <laughs> then <laughs> jump in the shower cold shower alright <laughs> no I'd uh, jump in the shower um, and then I usually would have a lecture I try to get my lectures done 
yeah. early-ish if I can. So I might go to a lecture, come home, um, eat another meal, and then go to the gym. Mm. Um, then I don't actually record much in the gym. Okay. At all. Because it does I record a lot of my life, and I love just going to the gym and just fucking it's switching off. off yeah. Not speaking to anyone, not texting anyone, having two like having music in my ears mm-hmm. and just doing what I love. They're all wearing there. Because I love doing it. Yeah. So I actually like I, I do I did record in the gym a lot, but I actually try not to now. Um because it's just my switch off time. Yeah. It's just the time where I get to just fucking be me. Yeah. You know? So I go to the gym, um, would come home then and then that's where it's like I'd usually have another few lectures on. Um, you know, like I'm doing we four group projects now in college, which mm. is a lot. So, you know, you're meeting with your groups four times a week, um, which is four different groups, so like that's hectic. Um and then I'd come home then, I have at least an hour of editing every day. Um, so whether that's the day in the lives, um obviously like I'm doing a sixty day bulking series mm-hmm. now. Um but like so, I obviously have those going, which yeah. would take close to an hour. And then, like, if I'm doing any other content, uh, like even now I'm doing, like later I have to re- record a thing for a recovery place. So you're looking at least an hour there. Um, then you have to bear in mind that you're recording all day. Yeah. Everything you do, everything you eat, yeah. everything you fucking see. That's what a lot of people forget. Is and you, yeah, it's of course it's cool. You see, but you have to record everything. Everything. Like, the meal, S- you drinking water. Every single day. Yeah. Every single day. Like, I wake up in the morning and I go out to the kitchen, I grab my bottle of water and my tripod. Yeah. That's not normal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, people don't do that. That's what I do. Though. Like, like, you know, you see me making my bowl of oats. It's because I have a tripod up, you know. And, um, like, a lot yeah. of the time, the lads, like, I, I'd be good friends with a few lads from Cork. They'd all come over. We'd all chill out, like, and I'd just be recording myself eating. Yeah. How would you kind of deal with that, John, when people are coming over? Like, so, um, like, a while ago, like, first year in college, I was very awkward with it. Yeah, yeah. Very awkward. Um, I don't know what it was, but I was just so, like, self-conscious of recording. Mm. Um, I was living in a house with eight people, four girls, I want to say, five girls, I think, um, and three lads. Yeah. And, I, and like, I was just, like, I'd never bring a tripod out. Yeah. I'd never record myself doing anything. If I was doing a day in the life, it would be shit because I'd be too scared to record the majority of yeah. things. Yeah. Now I'm living with two lads, two of my best mates. Both of them, one of them is very serious at the gym. Like he's in a, like yeah. in, a, in, a, in a deficit. He's tracking everything. Like he's just as consistent with me as me. He doesn't post anything now. Um, the other fella then goes to the gym and just knows I did this, do this. Like he lived with me last year. So they're just like, they've seen me do it now. They don't care. You know? Supportive. Like, like they yeah. don't care. They, yeah. they respect what I'm doing. They support it. And then like anyone who comes over also doesn't care. Like yeah. they all follow me. I follow them. Don't my yeah. mates. They know I do this. Yeah. So I'm not, I've just came to the, you know, mindset now where it's like I'm not gonna fake being who I am like, mm. I do this you know what I mean you don't You don't have to be in the video you know yeah. this is okay <laughs> I'm not gonna force you to yeah. be in the yeah. video eating the rice with me you know um, but you know they also just don't care that I do it like you know yeah. let's go back um, to what we said a while ago though, talking about surrounding yourself with people who want support and to do it as well yeah like because the boys want to see me do well exactly and that's, yeah. that's why they're my best mates yeah. you know what I mean that's, job. that's just how it is like yeah. Um, so yeah it's a funny one um, because like last year like even I don't know, like, was it living with girls or just, like, I just didn't want to fucking record anything, yeah. man. It's fair judgment. Look, it is this. It, it is, and it's probably, yeah. like, the past year has probably been the most beneficial thing for me um, because it's, like, you know, I've gained a bit of a following in the past year, so it's, yeah. like, you know, like, I think people just know that this you is... You are that guy now, like, that's what you're doing. Nah, you mean? well, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I suppose in a sense it is, like, yeah. um, but I never tried to see myself or look at myself as, like, someone who's, like, like bigger time or better than others. Oh, of course, yeah. Um, yeah, ever, yeah Jesus, but yeah. I do also have to, you know, know that like I do stuff that are pretty fucking weird to the normal yeah. people. Yeah, like, exactly. You yeah. know, yeah. I do. Um, but it is as much as it's still not what everyone does. Social media now is a lot more common than it was say five, six years. That's ago. why it's it's a lot easier. Like even yeah. now, like when I'm home, like last year, say I'd never take out the tripod in the kitchen when I'm home yeah. with my family, never ever yeah. but now I do and they're just like they don't give a shit anymore yeah. it's like fucking seeing the dogs walk around the kitchen it's just there now mm. you know what I mean like they don't care they know I'm not going to post them they know I'm not going to post anything yeah. stupid like with their voice in it. Yeah. you know so like they don't care you know mm. it's just a thing now and um, so it makes it a lot easier um, Yeah. but it's also like people don't think about that people don't think that like you're always with tripods you're always with yeah. cameras you're always yeah. with mics on you um, but it's part of the process yeah. it's part of the process like, I remember um, we were in the gym last week uh, recording videos 
And as soon as you could see people with the camera, like, so I'm talking to the camera with the mic, like, who the fuck is this guy talking to? Yeah. So if you're doing something, so if, so if I'm taking a piss stick and doing something funny, or right, this felt a bit of an air black. Do you know? It's just yeah. a, like, I have to yeah. get through that. See, in the gym, I'm actually not shy at all. Cause yeah. I just have that. I just don't give a fuck mentality. Yeah. Like, like, cause when yeah. you're mid training session, yeah. you know the blood is going through. Exactly. You're just like, yeah. I just don't care. Yeah. Like, yeah. you don't like me. Like, no hassle. Yeah. You probably don't have the balls set. That's what I know. As well, like, you can fuck off. Yeah. You know? It's just yeah. the reality. It was like my normal reels of before I trained. I was like, set this out to this, this out to this. Yeah. Then as soon as I trained, mine's a completely switched. Yeah, it's just you know? like, a, yeah, I'm, I'm doing something here. Yeah. You don't have to support it. You're not gonna be in the yeah. video. I don't care. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um. So yeah, that's the mentality you have to have though. Yeah. Hundred percent. And in normal day to day life, um, even outside of the gym, uh, family wise, friends, you, you you feel like you've had a support towards it. Yeah, yeah, I do. That's good. I do. Um, my family all back what I'm not back, but like you know, they respect what I'm yeah, doing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, I said it's now, a lot easier now. Now it is. I mean, you say come back when you first started. Yeah, like now it is. Like now, like I'd have vague conversations with my mum and dad about what I'm doing. Yeah. But like, I don't talk to them too much about it because number one. I don't think they, they really care that much. I yeah. number two, they're my parents, man. You know what I mean? Understand I, as you know, much, yeah. like they don't understand as much, but I also don't want to be speaking to them about that. You know, I get to see yeah. them two days of the week. Yeah. Like I don't I, I like to have a break and just speak about normal stuff with them. Yeah. Um because my life does revolve a lot around social media. Like yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. Um so like when I'm with them, I just like like to enjoy mm. my time with them. Yeah, you know I think I mean? that for you though, well, like they might understand it as much. So they're like, okay, Sam, yeah. how are you going to make money? How are you going to get a yeah. job? Yeah, that's one? that's all they think about. Like I'm doing yeah. this, they're like, Sam, are you going to make it a living from it? Yeah, and um, you know that's the thing that they care about. But now that they kind of see that, you know, like they both follow me, they both know what I do. Mm. Um, but now that they see that I'm building a bit more of a following, they kind of think, okay, yeah. well, like there's definitely potential there. Definitely but is. you know, we don't really speak about it much because yeah, you know, like there's there's nothing that they're really going to say that's going to change much towards what I'm doing yeah, you know yeah. um, but like like I said I just like to enjoy yeah. the time with a man yeah. I think it's a problem for a lot of people though as in sometimes your closest friends in your family will be the people who tell you don't do it yeah they won't get it yeah because they're just afraid for, like, yeah. they're trying to support you but they're afraid that it won't work out yeah, yeah. like even I'll never forget when I uh, when I started my fitness page um, I was like to my mother I was like look mum <laughs> fuck I'm going to start a fitness page I'm going to do it I'm going to fucking do it and then uh, she was like alright Grand, like, <laughs> and I was like, yeah, it was just so awkward, boy, because yeah, it was, yeah. I was, I was getting ready to post my first post. I'll never forget it. Yeah. It's me in the gym, and it's me like trying to look to look pumped up compared to when I first started. And I was like, look, well, I'm gonna post this, and then the one thing she goes to me, she goes, look, Sam, I don't care. Just don't post yourself in your jocks. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's like at the stage where it's like there's more photos of my fucking jocks than there is of me with, with fucking clothes on. Like, do you know what I mean? we're going a different route. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. Technically not. Like, <laughs> not yet. That's the other psychic. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, that's something that I'll always fucking, that's something I'll always remember. Like, um, that's just the first thing that came to our mind. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's mother, all right. <laughs> you know? Look, you know they have good intentions. Like, just oh, 100%. Percent, yeah. 100%. Yeah. You know, and I love them for it. But yeah. yeah, it's just hilarious, you know, because um, they're just a bit out of tune, but they also know what's going on. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, I think you would find the majority of people who support you would be people you don't actually know. Boy, stop. It's mad. Yeah. It's mad. Yeah. Like, even now, um, like, I'm so grateful for my friends around me, you know, because they do share a lot of my stuff mm. and, like, support me. And, like, not that. It would bother me, but you know, yeah. it's mad that like, like even say like when I hit ten thousand followers, or like if I hit a milestone, like a lot of like some of my friends like might text me, and then like other people who I never even people. spoke to would share yeah. it on their story, and I'm like, Jesus, yeah, it is, thank yeah. you so much, yeah, you know, and not that I think of anyone different for not texting me, you know, of what course, I mean? yeah, yeah. but it is just mad when you do think about it, and you know, like not that I lost friends when I started social media, but. I think I became less close oh, yeah. with some of my oh, friends, yeah. Oh, yeah. you know, because I was doing something different and they might have been scared to see mm. themselves with me in yeah. public. Yeah, you know? yeah. Not in public, but you I know, know just in mean, general, yeah. you know, because I was doing something out of the ordinary and I wasn't mm. this, like, guy who fucking, you know, That's went normal, to school, yeah. Yeah. did a, I suppose, normal life. Not that yeah. I'm doing that in that crazy out of the ordinary, yeah. but, you know, did the kind of expected life, Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, I think they definitely helped you out, though. As in, you mightn't have noticed it at the time, okay, I'm losing mm. friends or whatever. But I definitely feel like that helped you because now you're not around people who maybe would have put you down and such, you know? Yeah, like even yeah. one of my best mates now, like he's been my best mate for, geez, about eight years now. Yeah. Um, like he's um, into property and stuff and he's actually started a social media account as well. Classic. And it's so cool, like he's only getting started on it, but like it's so cool for me to see, like he's one of my best friends, always supporting me the whole way up. Um, But like now he's starting to do it. Classic. And it's like, he always supported me when I started. Yeah, so yeah. it's so cool to see him come into it, you know cool. what I mean? And he's doing a really, really good job. Like yeah. I'm so proud of him for it, but like it's never easy starting. 
know what I mean? So that's why yeah. it's so cool to see someone like that, you know, like someone who's supported you from yeah. day one yeah. is now starting to do their own thing with it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? But for you to look, you forget for yourself though, as in him starting it, he had you to look up to. Do you get me? In a, sen- in a sense, like... In a way, yeah, yeah. In like, in some sort of way, but it's so cool to see, you know, that like maybe he might have taken a bit of in- inspiration from me. Exactly, yeah. And that saying, like, yeah. you know, like, that like he's starting now, like he's yeah. doing his own thing. Yeah. You know, it's so cool to see, like especially when it's one of your best mates. Yeah. Like it's whatever about like someone in your class doing it, mm. but like when it's your best mate, it's like it's yeah. just class to see. Yeah. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. you're just supporting them so much. Like even my, myself uh, with a smaller account, like with coaching now, I have some clients who um, just had to make really good progress. But it's just hearing stuff like how much, how much knowing I can affect someone's life that amount. Yeah. So I, it's like fuck what that you look like. Knowing I can affect your mental health that much in a positive sense. Yeah. Is unreal, like you know. Yeah. Uh, it means everything to me, to be honest. Yeah. And even, oh man, I'm the exact same. Like, yeah. like even like I have a client now who's like, like he started with me, was kind of worried enough about starting because like I had no rep, like no rep, like I didn't have yeah. any transformations. I just had my own, and he started with me, and now he's like saying like the coaching part of his life, yeah. like it's literally changed his life. Yeah. And like hearing that is like mind boggling, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm like I'm a 20 year old from fucking Waterford. How am I yeah. able to change someone's yeah. life? Exactly. Yeah. Would you? What would you say? Would you think actually? Not would you say, but. Do you think that is like your biggest motivator, biggest motivator in terms of coaching? Like how much you can impact yeah. someone else? Oh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. Knowing that you could literally flip someone's life. Yeah, like yeah. fully just flip everything for them. Yeah, you know, and get them that 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 kind of goal that they've yeah. been chasing and just haven't been able to do it. That's yeah. definitely the biggest. Motivator. I'm the exact same in the sense because it did it for me. Yeah, like I went the moment I bought. I was at some stage I was a bit overweight. Then I was extremely skinny. I went from fat to skinny, from skinny to now where I am today. Yeah, but I've been on both sides and I know how shit it feels getting started. So when I have someone who's in a similar position, I know what it feels like. So I feel like I can, I can relate to it a lot, a lot, and I can help them in that sense. And um, just seeing them progress mentally, outside of physically, is just class. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, it's the most rewarding job. Like yeah. it is. Yeah. Yes. Um, mm. I think a lot of people don't uh, understand that. Yeah. Oh, you don't, and I didn't until, <laughs> yeah. you, until you get into it and start doing. Yeah. You know, you start to realize, fuck, this is so cool. It's cool. Like, yeah. So so good. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Mad. Yeah. Um, it's just keeping it uh, real as well. The clients like um, you yeah. Start like to realize even, a lot of them will try to look up to you, like yeah, exactly. You know? Like even now, like like I have a client um, and he was like asking me about rugby, and I was like, look, man, like yeah, I'm honest. I'm not gonna portray that. I'm not going out. You yeah. know, like I like if you don't want to be my client, that's no hassle at Absolutely, all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But this is the way I take an approach to things. Yeah. If you don't agree with it, that's no hassle. Yeah. Not every coach, m- like not many coaches, at all are gonna agree with it, but. You know, it's mm. the approach that I like to take. You know, like if yeah. you work hard, you play hard. You yeah, know, it's cringy. Yeah. It's yeah. the same sense. It's the way I've always been. I've never been all in. Yeah. You know, with coaching. You know. Yeah. Um. So that's the way I like to go about yeah. it. You know, not everyone's gonna agree with it. But yeah. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. The gym is supposed to make your life better, not like exactly. take away moderators. Exactly. One hundred percent. And that's so important. Like. But at yeah. the same time, as well, though, I like to think of myself as someone who is very. Some across. Sometimes I come across a bit serious or straight to the point. But that's just I'm not gonna change it because that's who I am. Like. Yeah. One hundred percent. I think if I feel like you're acting the goal, I will tell you like that's just how I am. <laughs> It's just the way I am. Yeah, like, some I'm people gonna... need to kick up the hole. Yeah. Me included. <laughs> like, I was like yeah. Dave. I was like, look, man, I love going on nights out. You're going to have to stop me. <laughs> hey, I yeah. was like, look, you're going to have to just tell me when I'm being a dickhead. Yeah. Okay, and then he was he, he does like he's like Sam, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> like you're doing more drinking than you are training this week. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I'm like, okay, yeah, look, valid point, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, you know, and that's important. You know, you need someone there to give you kick yeah. the hole. Yeah. You know, um, I think a lot of people sign up for coaching. Like, yeah, of course they might know them as much as they know. I should know about training and nutrition, but a massive part just accountability. Yeah, they need so that extra kick. Yeah, yeah. and a massive part for me, man, is just my mental health. The, yeah, like, the effect it has on it, like knowing that you've someone there to speak to, yeah. um, like man, like Dave has, like genuinely like flipped my life, mm. like knowing that I could text him right now. Now, bearing in mind he is living in Perth, so there's a bit of a time <laughs> difference. <laughs> yeah. But you no, know, knowing I could text him, and be like, man, can I jump on a call with you in the morning? I'm really struggling here, yeah. and he'd fully take like an hour out of his yeah, day right. to just jump on the call and be like, look, man, yeah. speak to me. What can I do for you? Like, yeah. like he's fully like changed my perspective yeah. on life. Like, and even with that, like I speak to Dave about a lot of personal things. Mm. Like, you know, I know I have this like social media account and whatever, but it's not all yeah. easy. Yeah. It's not. I struggle. You know, I do, and yeah. everyone does. You know, but he's someone who I can just text and be like, "Look, man, 
what should I do here? Like, like yeah. Dave's older than me, you know, so he's done what I've done. You know, a lot yeah. of situations I've been in, he's been in, yeah. you know. Um, so it's cool to just have someone there and just like, yeah. like I'm so, so grateful for him, man. Yeah, I think a client to coach relationship is also very important, is what you're talking about there. Like, like, a, lot, a lot of clients can actually become Amos long term friends as well. Joy, literally, man. Yeah, you're so surprised. Um, which is mad. Like, I yeah. talk to Dave more about stuff outside of the gym than I do yeah. in the gym. Like, I'm like, oh, that's yeah, by the way, uh, I was 83 kg this morning. <laughs> but yeah. like, here's everything else that's going on yeah. in my life, yeah. you know? Um, which is so cool and that's the way I'm with clients as well man that's cool, even man. one of my clients went to Budapest and I was just talking to him age about, about like Budapest like, <laughs> that's cool yeah. oh fuck yeah. wait uh, did you go to the gym or yeah. like <laughs> it's because pe- when you s- people sign up the course they forget right this is actually a real human being yeah right? it's like you know? <laughs> it's like man like uh, obviously I want to see you do well but yeah Tell me about the crack, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, even like with Dave, he was like, man, voice note me after every night of rack. All right, I want to hear everything. All right. And I was like, that's just so cool. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, that's a huge factor yeah. for me as well. Like, yeah. like you've got to get someone. I think it's also important picking someone who you aspire to. Exactly, yeah. You know, you, yeah. you don't want to let him down. Like, I don't want to let Dave down. Yeah. You know, like, I know he's spending time, you know, making my plan, whatever. But I also don't want to let him down. Like, he, he's a mm. person I have inspiration to. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? He's, yeah. He inspires me. Like, you know, and yeah. that's a very that's important massive. part about picking a coach. If you don't pick someone you look up to, why would you? Exactly. Why, yeah. why, why would you do what they're telling you to yeah. do? Yeah. Even my own coach, Keen, he's obviously Irish. He started off yeah. um, from a smaller smaller account even smaller in size himself seamers got to know it bought himself in terms of physique business it's mad 100%. like Keen's, Keen's a huge inspiration for me man. Yeah. Like, obviously he's not my coach but like like I speak to Keen a good bit yeah. and man like he's such a big inspiration yeah. for me because you know like he started as well when he was like not like in phenomenal shape like the same as me like because I remember I was, I've been following him for ages man mm. you know what I mean he just fully just documented the whole process yeah. and now he's like fucking huge yeah. do you know what I mean and yeah. obviously has like what, does he have a few businesses going for him? A few of them, yeah. Like, it's cool, yeah. He's chilling, yeah. like, do you know what I mean? Like, that's it's so, so cool hard to see. Like. Yeah, yeah. Like, it's you, so you can, cool. He can look back now from when he started, whether it's even, even if your physique, like, people are afraid to take photos when they start, or him now documenting his journey on social media. People are afraid to start, like, take videos and pictures at the start, yeah, not realizing how cool it is to look yeah. back when you actually get there, like, oh, fuck, I wish I took stuff yeah. at the start. Like, yeah. You know? yeah. Like yeah. taking photos is one thing, but then posting it on TikTok like I was doing it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but don't but, do that. But All now right, like, looking back, I think for you it was unreal. Like, yeah, now I'm, gl- I'm glad yeah. I did it, but I'm yeah. just going to let you know yeah. it's not fun. In the moment, it's shit, but when you <laughs> yeah. get there, it's class. Like. Yeah, but like like something like that, if you are going to document the process, you have to be all in. Yeah. Like yeah. all in. Like I was like, man, I can't wait to prove these fuckers wrong. For great I was advice. like, I can't wait to do it. Yeah. You know, like it was a genuine motivator in me. Yeah. Like I was like, right. Fire. User six seven foot <laughs> Fuck you, boy. I'm following you and I'm gonna text you when I'm huge. You know what I mean? Like it was yeah. stuff like that. Like I was like, yeah, yeah fact. Yeah. You just have to go for it. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah. yeah. Um I think it comes back to the same quote before. Like every person has two lives, but the second one begins with really, when you realise you only have one. Yeah. So if you're gonna let you, like, I remember I had to hear that twice. Like, but like you only yeah. your second life begins. Realize you only have one. So then you just go off for everything. There's yeah. nothing that, and like, that risk you're afraid to take no longer seems scary anymore. You just fucking go off. Yeah. It, you know. Yeah. Like one thing that I live by, and I think it was David Goggins who said it. Now oh, it's yeah. gonna be so oh, oh, yeah. cringe. All this kind of <laughs> no, stuff. No, no. You know what I mean? But <laughs> fucking hell, like I fully heard it, and it like actually just flipped my perspective on life. Yeah. It was like like someone asked him, I don't know who it was, but they were like, David, what's your biggest fear in life? And he was saying, you know, about meeting when he's on his deathbed, oh, I know this one, yeah. meeting the David Goggins that could have been, oh, yeah. the, co- the, the, yeah, yeah. the Goggins that could have happened. Yeah. And that's yeah. something I think about every day. I'm like, mm. fuck, man, what if you met the Sam O'Hara that could have been? Yeah, the yeah. Sam O'Hara that stopped caring, the Sam O'Hara that just pursued his fucking passion, pursued yeah. his dream. Yeah. Like, what if you were just lying in bed and met this, like, guy who had, like, a six figure business, mm. fucking. Good looking, shredded, loads of followers, <laughs> shredded, yeah. sexy wife. Like, what if you <laughs> met him? Yeah. But no, you decided to just like work a nine to five. Yeah. And just die. Just skip it. <laughs> yeah. That's smoke facts. Yeah. You know, it's like, yeah. ah. you know, but it's yeah. something that like, it's it's genuinely my biggest yeah. fear. It's it's yeah. my biggest fear. Even like, in my room, I have I have I have a David Goggins book that stands up so I can see his face. Yeah. I have Kobe Bryant in this one. I've Anthony <laughs> Joshua here and I've Anderson Zil- Anderson Silva behind me, who are all arguably at the very top of their game at the ring. And when I'm lying in bed and I wake up, I'm like, if I can't get up and I have all these people around me, I'm like, what kind of a loser I am, like? Yeah. You know? It's my boy, like it, like he, he's fully changed my perspective yeah, yeah. on life. Yeah. Of course, like some people take, find him a bit funny because look, he can be a bit really serious sometimes. But I, I do believe like he is really like that. That is his life. Yeah. Like, I read his book and his upbringing is mad. But it does show like a lot of the shit things that can happen in life can mold you into the person you need to become. Hundred percent. Yeah. 
and I use that in my own sense even for myself. Like my mom passed away when I was fifteen, but uh, I don't think as much. Of course, it's a shit experience for myself and my family, but without that. I wouldn't be the person I am today because it did change my perspective a lot. A lot. I talked just the other day on my own post. I was like, when you realize that your life can pass that easily, nothing really matters. Do you know, like this yeah. this podcast. Oh, I'm afraid of someone judging me. Oh, I couldn't care. Yeah. So, it, but it's so liberating having that feeling. Like I don't fear anything as much yeah. anymore. Like you know, yeah, you really. I'm going to the same place. Same place. You're gonna die. He's gonna die. This fucking Mike is gonna die. Yeah. Everything's gonna go on the same place. So why care? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's different it, perspective. It is. It is true. Like you have to just like think that like. Fuck! I'm not gonna be here one day. Yeah. Like we could, we could finish this podcast. Walk down the stairs. Someone will fuck shoot me. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know what yeah. I mean? They'll be like, "Fuck!" Didn't mean to shoot that fella. <laughs> Meant the other fella in the red top. <laughs> but like, and obviously now the chances of that happening are or quite slim. Yeah, touch wood. But <laughs> um, like, it, it is, it is possible. Yeah. You know, and you have yeah. to realize, like, like would I be happy in everything I've done? Like, yeah. ask yourself that. Would you, if you were to die tomorrow? Would you feel like you fully fulfilled your potential? Yeah, yeah, it's good to think about it, yeah. No, like potential is only a meaning of what could happen. What could True. be, you know? Mm. When I was in the gym and I was only listening to that, like, and I was mid set and I was like, fuck, man. Yeah. That is so <laughs> At the end weird. of the set, and we had about 10 reps on this. Yeah, like <laughs> potential is only a fucking thing that could happen. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And it's crazy. Like, if you, if, if you were watching this podcast now and you're sitting there and you're thinking, oh my God, like, Mm. Like, you need to get your shit together. Yeah. Like, you need to pursue that thing that you've been putting off. Yeah. Like, cause you're going to die. I'm going to yeah. die, you know? Yeah. Potential, Unfortunately. potential people think, like, even in terms of physique, uh, the gym, anything, potential is what you make it to be. Yeah. The people, oh, my genetics are shit, but still fucking train as hard as you can. You'll see, you'll never find out if you don't know, like. 100%. If you never go for it, you'll never find out. Yeah. That's why I'm, I, that's why I'm saying, away, like, I'm even all in person. Yeah. So I have to try as hard as I can, because if I, imagine not knowing how far I could have gone. Yeah. Do you know, no matter what it is, if it's business even. So I'd love to just know as far as I can go, yeah. how much I can achieve. And that's like, I think my biggest fear in life is just not doing it. Even if I fail, which I won't, but even if I fail, knowing that I gave everything will give me peace. 100%. You know? that's, why, yeah. that's why I started the TikTok page. It's yeah. like, fuck it, if I fail, no one's going to remember. Yeah. People aren't going to forget. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Um, but now, like, I'm never going to fail. Mm. Like, not with that. Like, I'm never yeah. stopping. Yeah. Ever. You but know. is it people are like think too much of it as well like like in 20 years time is someone going to remember the samahara video where he looked a bit skinny yeah like 100 percent. like that's one thing that was for me like i was like like i had heard that like when you leave sixth year that like people stop caring about what what they mm. think about you yeah, yeah and it's so fucking true yeah. i cannot express it like yeah, yeah. like secondary school in ireland is the most judgmental place you will Toxic. ever ever be yeah ever be in you yeah. know what I mean everyone's um, trying to fit in like yeah. exactly like but like majority of people I meet now in college like like okay yeah they might have seen my videos or something but like they'll yeah. always just take you for the person you are yeah. and the person you portray to be mm. you know what I mean and that's something I'm so grateful for like but yeah. like back like in sixth year like everyone's judging yeah. you yeah everyone. I think as soon as you leave college or as soon as you leave school everyone kind of becomes right this is who you really are yeah. this is what you really like, want to do even in school like there's always that like popular kid Oh, yeah. There always is. Yeah. They become nobody, man. Exactly. Yeah. Like, you have to realise, like, I'm in a college now. Like, yeah. well, how many people are in UL? Why? Is there, like, 12,000? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. I don't know. But, like, yeah. like, oh, let me just think about who's the most popular person in UL. <laughs> yeah. I have no idea. Because like, okay? nobody being cares. Pop- yeah. I don't even know the most popular person in my class. Okay, popularity <laughs> just <laughs> fades. <laughs> popularity, <laughs> genuinely, though. Popularity just fades. Nobody gives a fuck, you know? Yeah. Like, popular people don't exist anymore, yeah. you know? Yeah. It's just like, yeah. oh, yeah, there's, there's Andy there. Yeah, he sound like. But yeah. you Being wouldn't in school, call like, it popular, yeah. you know. Like, but it does in school. Yeah. It does. Like, there's always a popular kid. It's usually the fastest kid. Yeah. <laughs> usually, <laughs> you know? but um, like now in college, it yeah. just doesn't matter. Like being in school, like the pinnacle of society, was the popular person. Oh, and as man. soon as you leave school, it's like, all right, this is not the case anymore. Yeah, it's done. Like, because yeah. you're going into a whole new environment where no one yeah. knows your reputation. Yeah, you know what I mean. You're and there to fend for yourself as well. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like even now like I'm moving to Mon- well I'm not moving but I'm going to Montreal in uh, Canada nice. in August and I'm so looking forward to just going over and starting fresh yeah you know yeah. not knowing one person going over and just starting on a fresh clean slate everyone yeah. I meet is going to judge me for who I am yeah. what I am nobody's like not that you know I care if people know me but like you know they won't yeah. you know so people are just going to judge me for the Sam O'Hara that I am That's you know and I can't wait to just like go over and just like yeah. meet a lot of new people very similar I'm going to Sunshine yeah, Cosmos in Australia 
Yeah. Very, it's the exact same thing. You can't, it's a fresh yeah. slate, man. You just can't beat it. Yeah. The Keen yeah. you meet at that stage is the Keen you'll know. Mm. So not Keen five years ago. It's mad. It's got a coach in Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to going? Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait, boy. Outside of Ireland. Jeez, I can't wait. I, I can't wait, and I'm also terrified. Exactly. Like, I love yeah. the boys. Yeah. I love the boys. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I love yeah. hanging out with the boys. Yeah. Um, like, even on weekends now, I just go back and I just, like, don't yeah. do a bit of college work. I'm just like, yeah. right, I don't need to see the boys, like, because mm. I just love them. Um, but that's something I'm going to miss. Yeah. And obviously, my family as well. Like, <laughs> I'm going to miss the boys as well. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm excited, yeah. but I'm terrified, man. Yeah. But it'll, be, it'll help you grow, though. As it move, you're moving to the other side of the planet, like yeah. you know, it is going to help you yeah. grow in a lot alone of sense. Yeah. as well. Like, yeah. alone. Mm -hmm. Well, like there's, I think there might be two or three others yeah. in my year going, but oh, yeah, yeah, I don't really know them, like mm. you know. Um, but yeah, it should be a cool experience. Yeah, yeah. even for myself, um, I was born obviously in Limerick. Every job or every dream I've ever been has been a walk a distance from my house. Yeah. and now I'm moving to the other side of the planet. It, it's a bit weird when you look at it in that sense. Yeah. Um, but it will help me grow as a person. I think with things like this, it's good to just not deep it. It's good to yeah. just bite the bullet and fucking do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. As in, I'm um, just a specimen on a rock. Mm. So I, what can happen? Like, mm. I don't get to eat my crocodile. Like, but yeah, know. I mean, ideally <laughs> not. Like, um, <laughs> but yeah, it, it's going to be mad, boy. Yeah. Um, Looking forward to it. Yeah. It's a risk, too. but it's there to be taken. There to yeah, be done. exactly. Like, now's the time to do it. Like, do you yeah. know what I mean? And it's um, so common though in Ireland, like, everyone fucks off at some stage Do yeah you know? it's big, um, because Ireland is just an actual shithole like <laughs> legitimately if now, you guys watching this <laughs> now don't, don't get me wrong like, like I actually even, okay right I'm going to contradict myself heavily here but yeah. I, I do think I might actually live here but I just think like just behind I'm the exact same like, yeah, it, it's exactly. actually just behind yeah. it's just like it's just on pause I think like, you want to live here because like your roots are here your family yeah, are exactly yeah. that's the only thing that would want and I love the countryside man I love yeah. being in the countryside yeah. um, but I think just like in general it's just like it's yeah, it's like in the waiting lobby. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's like playing Fortnite when you're on ping. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I think like what we're doing though as well with social media, the chat, the, like, yeah, the, the opportunity is so much better yeah. than somewhere else. Like hundred percent. And like now is the yeah. perfect time for me to go. Like I have no commitments. I have no girlfriend. I have no fucking. The only thing I'd be leaving behind is my family and my friends. Yeah. So I have nothing to yeah. fucking like. I play. Now it'll still be team. tough, like of course. Hundred percent. But like yeah. now I'm like right, fucking, I'm biting the bullet, man. Yeah. I've, That's I've, good. I, I don't have that much going for me, so I'm gonna do it. You know. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Should be good. Do you look any for any gyms over there yet? None. 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 Man, I've already called the gym and gone on that. Seriously? <laughs> yeah. Jesus. No, I'm, I'm just hoping it's fucking there. Like, try like, all right, that map is yeah. like this far away, but I hope it's actually that far away. No, yeah. <laughs> See, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, like the gym is part of my life, but yeah, especially even like the last year, like I've I've actually just like, like I feel like I haven't lost the love for the gym, but it's just. I've, I've started to just other areas of life. appreciate other areas of life. Yeah. Like, I went through a phase there where I was like, yeah, I love the gym. Gym mm. is my life. Do you want to go to the gym? You know? Mm. And now I'm like, well, you know, there's other things yeah. to do too. Sometimes we can, I can, I'm a victim to this myself. Um, it, beca it can become like your whole personality. Yeah, sometimes you just need to step back and be like, whoa, 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 whoa. wait now. Yeah. I'm sacking off three, three day holiday with the lads here to go and train <laughs> pull. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want to have a long hard look at myself yeah, they're iliac left to be bigger <laughs> yeah, I'd want to have a long hard look at myself here now do you know what I mean yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah you know all, all all relative all all in stages you yeah. know what I mean um, it's just the, the experience in life like you'll never get the experience back so just fucking go for it yeah you know? exactly that's, yeah. That's, you can go to the gym the next time do you know that's exactly yeah. exactly um, yeah something as well that I'm going to ask Every disputed broad question it might be tough to ask, but I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna ask yeah. anyways. Right, press pause right. on the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> For Samahara, right? If you were to put if you were to put gym, business, life, family, everything together, what would the pinnacle of success look like for you? Oh, um settling down with a family. Yes yeah. is, is one thing that I'm huge on. Yeah. Like like I just love like like feeling loved being you know like around people I love so mm. settling down with family having kids and just being stress like finance free like stress free, free on yeah. finance yeah, yeah. is there a word for that yeah, no, free, is there a big word a free, I just call it freedom finance freedom financial, freedom financial freedom fina that financial one. freedom that's <laughs> the one yeah. so yeah settling down with family and financial freedom man it sounds so yeah. basic but like I know I do all the social media stuff but like yeah. I'm a big at home guy yeah. like that's all I'd want like like mm. 
I don't know if I'll even be training in 10 years' time. Like, really? I, like I will be training, but, like, yeah. I don't think I'll be as committed as I am now. I think yeah. I'll just get to a stage where I just want to maintain my physique. Mm. Yeah. Um, and I'm just happy, and I just want to, you yeah. know, have enough money to be financially free. Yeah. I just... Something I'm afraid of myself, though, I feel like... Say if I reach a goal I'm working towards, as soon as I get to that goal, I know what'll happen. I'll see a bigger mountain. I have to climb that one. Then I look up, it'll be another peak, and another peak, yeah. and another see, peak. See, now that you say that, I'm like, I'm the exact same. Because like, I've just hit 10,000 on Instagram, 50,000 on TikTok, which is a humongous, like, yeah. maybe not for, but for me personally, yeah, like, that was so, like, if you were to tell 16 year old Sam, he would have been like, whoa. Yeah, yeah, it's mad. Like, that is crazy. Yeah. But now I'm like, right, okay, I need 11,000. <laughs> I need 51,000 yeah, yeah. how am yeah. I going to do this so like going, yeah. now you know I do say that I want that financial yeah. freedom but I do love chasing that like that like extra yeah. dopamine you know what yeah. I mean um, so yeah it's a tough one for me to answer but definitely just settling down with yeah. family man yeah. I'd be similar in a sense but I think for me something I never really talk about like enough like the pinnacle of success for me we have to give back specifically like my family my dad yeah. to support me that would be like the top top tier yeah. of success for me knowing I can give back to what they give me because I know they've supported me my whole life I've yeah, been the youngest in the family like, you know? that would be half of me of course I want to have a car a nice house all that it looks cool yeah. but it, for me the very top pinnacle of success would be giving back to my family yeah like even do you follow Sean Casey yeah I do yeah yeah do you see yeah, him I've seen, yeah. like yeah. Oh, that's it's just yeah. so cool imagine the him. feeling of gratitude you'd have doing that like Man, you know? stop like that's like that's life goals right yeah. there like never mind business goals. that's life goals yeah yeah. That's like, give me 30 years, I want to be able to do that. Yeah. I even seen it, not even to that extent. I, mean, I was in the group chat, I mean, uh, there's a few other coaches in it. And he remember he's saying that his dad, like, the pipe burst in his house or something. And he was like, it was going to cost like eight grand to fix or something. He was like, here, here's the eight grand. Just to be able to do that, to just solve it, no problem, just freedom, just solve a problem, no problem like that. It's, yeah, it's just like that's, like, that's stuff you want to be able to do. Like, yeah, you know, yeah. So that's something that I, I would love to be able to yeah. do. Um, it's also not been um, as much as financial freedom, location freedom as well. Like if it's rained in Ireland for whatever reason and the weather shit, I, I want to fuck off the lens already for a week. It's yeah. just that is, of course, it's money, but it's not been tied down to one location as well. Which of course online coaching does give you. I can 100%. do it from anywhere in the world. Yeah, you know, hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, I'm I'm big on that too. But I just can't wait to settle down, but yeah, like just settle down, good looking wife, <laughs> have some kids. Yeah. Um, and just fucking be happy, man. Happy, and just yeah. like wake up in the morning. Yeah. you know do whatever job I'm doing I just like like I was always against a 9 to 5 and now I'm not saying I'm going to work in a 9 to 5 but yeah. like you know there's so much to be said about just being happy man yeah. just oh, yeah. like, like Jesus, true yeah. happiness yeah. because I do feel like I have found genuine happiness now yeah. like I'm the happiest I've ever been like I, I, I have gone through rough points in life um, especially over the last two years and now I'm like at a stage where I'm like like I'm, I'm genuinely happy so mm. like if I could just maintain that man yeah. That'd be success for me, man. Yeah. That's success that's in a nutshell for me. Like yeah, just yeah. genuinely being happy. That's yeah, that's what I was gonna say, almost. I was gonna like I was gonna say what defines your happiness, but if you're already happy then yeah. you're just gonna it's keep like, doing what you're like doing. if everything was to go tits up today, Instagram deleted, TikTok deleted, I would be devastated, but like I genuinely have happiness. Your core is strongest, so yeah. yeah, yeah. Mean? Like, that's like, good. Like, like mentally I'm just like mm. uh, okay. That's why I got I said a while ago. I think like sometimes when you're happier and you give out that like, kind of optimism it's like you get back better. Do you yeah. know what it's like the more optimi- optimistic you are, the better shit you get back. I don't know yeah. what it is. Do you know what I mean? Um, the so walls that were usually grey now start to seem yellow or something. I don't know what yeah. it is, but it's like yeah. everything's just positive. Everything's better. Yeah, and Joe, yeah. it's when you kind of go through like a rough time, you, you're not at that state where that's when like it's times like this where I'm like, okay, yeah, this is like actual, yeah. like being content with myself. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. And that's something I'm so big yeah. on, man. Do you, have you ever like said, okay, when I get to here, I'll be happy. Are you, are you, you're just happy now though. Just happy to be here. Man. Yeah. I'm happy to be <laughs> here. Like, yeah. like, like it sounds so weird. Like, but even just being able to fucking wake up every day, boy, and just oh, do yeah. something I love. Yeah, you know, and just like see my best mates every day, see my family on the weekend. Mm. Man, like, what else could I ask for? I feel like what you're saying has only happened to me in the past month. To be honest, I've always been okay. When I do this, I'll be happy. When I get this amount yeah. of money, I'll be happy. When yeah. I have this car, I'll be happy. Yeah, not realizing. I'm like that could be years away, like yeah. Do you mean? But imagine just wasting that amount of my life yeah. not being happy when I could like, die tomorrow. Yeah, you know? like you have to just live in the moment. As cliche as it sounds, like you just have to. Yeah. Like I'm so grateful to just like be here, boy. Yeah. It's mad, like life isn't long enough to be fucking negatives and bad. Yeah. Like. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah, I could sit here and all the negatives, like fucking hell, I'm so stressed at college, boy. Like there's yeah. a lot going on. Like it's also like fuck it. Yeah. If I fail, I can repeat. You know, exactly, like, yeah, exactly, like, yeah. like there's so many other things going for me that's like, like the same thing with Canada I mean going to Australia if I don't like it I'm just going to fly home yeah what's the stress like, about like, like, yeah like I'm going for a semester it's like oh I'll have to repeat three months of my life if I, if I hate it I just come yeah. home 
So what? Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fucking bite the bullet. That's what I mean. Do it. The majority of, that's what I said about it, the majority of stuff you worry about has no real relevance at all when you realise any day you could pass away. Literally. That is the truth. Literally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I think just like chasing actual happiness is huge yeah. for me. Yeah. Um, instead of goal, instead of like reach, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm just going to be happy. That would be like your... Yeah. I think that almost, I, I, when I asked you though, what would you define as success? If I was to take everything you mentioned, it's okay, you just want to be happy. I just want to be happy. Yeah. Man. I don't care. That's class. Like, I don't care if I'm earning 100 grand a year, 50 grand a year, 500 grand a year, a million a year. Mm. If I'm just financially free, class. have a wife I love and yeah. kids I love, and yeah. like, you know, a family yeah. I love. Yeah. Well, That's what, like, what, what else would you want, man? Exactly. Yeah. Like, money sure. can buy all these things, like, yeah. and I've lived the broke lifestyle. I am. I'm in the moment, <laughs> right now. All right. Like, I do sometimes have to. Think about, right, I'm either buying chicken fillets or pints. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm living the broke lifestyle. Yeah. But it's the happiest I've ever been. That's cool, yeah. So yeah. it's like, money is great, man. But yeah. like, And I was always of the, fucking, the mindset of like, ah, yeah, money can't buy happiness, it can't. It buy me a nice car. <laughs> but I'm, like, now I'm like, boy, like, yeah, like, yeah. everything is just going. Of course, like, I want, I think everyone over here would say they'd love to have a lot of money. But it's like, um, it's not that it'll give you happiness, but it gives you the freedom, more freedom to be happy. Um, but it's also having the thing of working towards something I don't know for me like if I'm working towards something I'm a lot happier in my life do you know yeah. if I feel like oh, my gym now is slacking or if I'm not working towards my business I, yeah. still, I feel a bit shit but if I feel like I'm working towards something that's what I'm happiest but not realising that this is what I'm supposed to be happy not when I have it yeah. but it's actually the process of getting there yeah. that's the best part about it yeah and it was only um, like I'd say about a year and a half ago um, I was going through a breakup and it was genuinely like the lowest point of my life. Fuck. Like yeah. I was genuinely like every day I was actually struggling. Yeah. Um, like it was the lowest point that I've ever been at mentally. Um, and it's like times like that, that like, they build you. you know, they, they make you the person. You're yeah. like, that has literally flipped my perspective on life. Yeah. And it's like, like it, that is such an important thing. And I'm, mm. I'm, I'm glad it happened to me because I don't think I'd be the person yeah. I am today, like the independent person I am yeah. today. Like you need to struggle to yeah. see what it's like. Yeah. You need to you need to reach like Completely. rock bottom. Yeah. Like I, I was genuinely at rock bottom. Yeah. Like the followers I had didn't matter. Mm. Nothing mattered for me mm. other than like, you know, why couldn't this have worked? You know, yeah. and it was the only thing I could think about. And it was genuine rock bottom yeah. for me. I think it if was, you look at the majority of people who succeeded in some sort of area of life have a, a large part of diversity one stage in life at least once now i'm not saying you can't do it without like some shit yeah percent. but the majority of people who reach the top of their, of, their, of their game have had some sort of shit or adversity yeah. in their life and it's important like it, it builds you it gives you a fucking i have to make this work yeah i have to do this yeah i have to do this and you know i'm not saying oh i went through a breakup that's why I, you know yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm on this podcast today but mm. it did build me into the person I, I, I am you know it's, a, it's, it's an important factor of my life yeah. you know and I never really speak about it because you know I don't think I need to yeah. but I do think you know it is an important part for of course but it's you though it's, me, it's what it you is, are like you know what I mean yeah. um, and I'm not going to speak about certain parts of my life because I'm shy about speaking about them you mm. know it's, it's who I am yeah. you know I post everything I do on, on social media so you know I'm going to speak about this too but yeah, it, it is an important part and it builds yeah. you to the person you are today. Yeah, 100%. It builds you. Like, you have to reach rock bottom. Yeah. You have yeah. to reach that point where it's like, man, I don't know if I can keep going here. Yeah. It's you like know? the whole David Goggins thing, like, Joe, can't listen your mind. Yeah, so literally. literally, like, literally it is like, 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 you have to just, like, just do it. Like, like yeah. be at zero. Like, yeah. it's zero <laughs> to go up from there. Yeah. And now, yeah. that's why, like, today I'm like, okay, right, this mm. is the best of them. But also for people who are at zero, a lot of the problem is they don't see a way forward. But yeah. what they fail to realize is there is literally no yeah, other way like, down there. Yeah, I was the exact same. Like, I remember waking up and like, fuck. The only way is up, like. Well, I'm only going to get better from here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I can't get worse. <laughs> so, like, I mean, even if I fucking crash my car, I mean, I'm still at zero. <laughs> you know what I mean? It can literally only get better. Yeah. You know, and that's how it goes, you know. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So, yeah, it's it's an important part of my life. And I'm, yeah. You know. It's cool. Yeah. Um, as well as just fucking keep it going and you yeah. can say other than that like yeah yeah it's really motivating though yeah it's yeah. some yeah and like you said like everyone who, who who is successful today has a story yeah. and i'm not saying that's gonna be my story jesus no mm. but you know it is a part of of the process you know? yeah yeah um, that's cool i suppose writing the story as well and going into the next chapter is in you don't know what that is like you would like to hope there's many chapters left i mean <laughs> yeah. hopefully like so in an ideal cool. world you can like 
have you obviously you can't change it past your previous chapters like exactly but you can write the rest of them exactly you know? Yeah. you know and like your past will define you like you know what I mean it's all about your perspective on it yeah you know like you could just fucking say right fuck this right they didn't want me well you know why would anyone else you know but you have to just like flip your mindset and just be like right well where can we go from here how can, yeah. I, how can I like actually expand and bring up my life yeah. happiness just yeah. my happiness you know how can yeah. I bring this up you know and that's what you need to do yeah. you know well, I'm kind of yeah. glad I'm going to talk about that because as much as I want to talk with Jim on, all, on this podcast, I want to talk about basically everything in life. Yeah. Uh, gym, mental health, basically anything. Yeah, I think, That's the uh, first time we've spoke about this anywhere. Yeah. You know, um, but like the one thing I would say to anyone who is going through something like that would be like just surround yourself with people who, who genuinely yeah. love you, like 100%. people who genuinely will be there for you. Like yeah. I was just like, like you, you know, you got to spend your time with people who, love you like you know like your family your your friends like like the lads were always always there for me you know yeah. and i was there for them when they go through their breakups or rough times you know what i mean it's why you're mates mm. you know so it is so so important to just like like every weekend i was like right i'm doing something with the boys yeah, yeah. I, i'm taking my mind away from this you know what I mean? it's something you need to it's do it's class to have that outlet though you have someone to go to like mm. you know, just, you know, yeah. it's such an important thing man yeah um look i'd like to hope that what we're saying it can help someone else though but like yeah maybe yeah Maybe. Probably not, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you take a shrivel of this. Yeah. Uh, as transparent as we're being, we are going to Lockburger. Yeah. I am fucking starving. Yeah, me too. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah. I, I love Lockburger. I think Lock we might Burger. call it <laughs> the end of episode one. Yeah, Keen, look, it's been an absolute pleasure, man. Thank you so much for having me on. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I didn't think we would have been getting that deep with things, but I'm glad we did. You know, you know, transparency is, is yeah. the name of the game. Um, so, yeah, I hope. It did help someone maybe a little bit. Absolutely. Um, if not, thanks for watching anyways. Um, Absolutely. Yeah. All you. the best, sir. Thank you. Let's get some food. <laughs> <laughs> not too bad. Is that a good outro? I think so. Yeah.